Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well. So I am going to start off the video by saying this has made me take three, maybe even take two. I don't know. I keep wanting to laugh or shuffle. Anyway, I digress. So I have been tagged in 20 questions, get to know me by the channel Discovering 40 Amanda. Hello. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to answer some I'm going to answer 20 questions. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, question one is, do you have any talents or hobbies? Um, I do have a couple of hobbies. One that I can think of at the moment is, I do like to draw. I wouldn't say I'm very talented at it, but it's a hobby. Um, yeah, I like to draw. Okay, so the second question is, what is your favourite feature attribute? Um, <laughs> so I have a sarcastic sense of humour and um, every time I tell a joke to the people in my real life, um, sometimes it's I have, I have a straight face, like I tell a joke and I'm like... Or sometimes I'll tell a joke and it's, <laughs> I have a... Like, not so serious face, and I giggle, and so it's uh, yeah, <laughs> that giggle. Um, yeah, so it's I think my humor I like is my favorite part, and my feature attribute is my sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> so, moving right along to question number three, question number three is what is your dream vacation? So I haven't given this question much thought until I press record. Um, what is my dream location? So probably uh, to just backpack around Australia and like around the country parts of Australia um, and obviously the rest of part of Australia, but more so the country parts. Um, I, that part I really like, the country, the trees, the, uh, the atmosphere of the country, the serenity and all of that type of stuff, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but the serenity of the country and the woods and, yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to question four. Question four is, what is your favourite song? Ironically, every time I went to film this clip, it, my voice went really high. And yeah, anyway, I don't know. So, uh, I do have two songs that I'm thinking of, which I listen to quite frequently. Quite frequently. Um, one um, is not actually, doesn't have any lyrics, but it is quite catchy. And the one I'm thinking of, um, is called Scotland the Brave and it's bagpipes and drums and yeah <laughs> it's really catchy and yeah the other one is called When the Pipers Play and it has that, that one has more lyrics uh, it has lyrics in it words in it and then that one has more lyrics than the other one because the other one has, doesn't have any and it has um, bagpipes and drums in it as well and yeah so yeah, they're my favourite songs then. <laughs> so question number five is, can you swim? My answer is, I can't. So um, I think it was, I was grade two, maybe grade three. Our school had it where I think it was compulsory. Um, maybe it was grade I can't remember, grade two, grade three, I don't know, either one. Um, where they had it in where it, I think it was maybe compulsory, I can't remember. Um, where you had to learn how to swim. And so you would go to the pool every week with the school and you would learn to swim. And so you do like the swimming stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and I just never kept it up. And yeah, so I don't know how to swim. And so... I don't know how to swim. 
So question six is, what was your best or favourite subject in school? Um, <laughs> my favourite subjects in school was maths and science. <laughs> I wasn't the best in them, but they were my favourite. My probably best subjects in school were English and art, but my favourite subjects were maths and science. Okay, so number seven is what is your dream job? I would love, absolutely love to work with the elderly. Um, so when I was about 16, 17, I would have been about year, year 10, year 11, and I went on an excursion with school, and we went to an aged care home, or I'm not sure what they're called now, um, yeah. So we went to an aged care home and we just sat with the we sat with the people and we talked to them. We made jewelry with them. We had a dance and we watched the Golden Girls and they shared their stories and we had an all in all good time. And that day um, not only was good for them, well, it was they really had a really good time. But what I took from it is that one day, um, I really want to work with something in, with, I would really want to work something with the elderly. I don't mind what it is, I just want to work with them. They were really grateful that day, they were really happy, and it was really fun. So number eight is, what is your favorite saying or quote? So I remember hearing a quote back in school, be the change you want to see. And I will, I know that is a, I think a famous quote. So we'll um, insert a picture. Um, and I, that kind of stuck to me. And when I started be, at the beginning of my fitness journey, um, I started, it kind of, I was looking at like quotes that I can like ruminate to and all that type of stuff. And that one came back again and so it kind of stuck and be the change on the scene and all that type of stuff. And so that's my favourite quote and it's kind of stuck. And I say it a lot. And yeah. <laughs> Moving on to number nine, I actually decided to turn the light on. I realised it was getting a little bit dark, so hopefully the other clip was turned out okay. Um, so number nine is <laughs> number nine is actually question is how do you relax? Um, I am finding this question a little bit difficult. <laughs> so when I need to relax, I find myself asking more questions than I probably need to. Um, so I end up listening to music, I walk, I do yoga. Um, I don't know if I'm going to answer this question properly, but I don't know. Hope so. <laughs> so yeah, I listen to music, I walk, and I do yoga. That's how I relax. And I probably ask too many, too many questions in my own head. And yeah, I don't know if that answers the question, but I hope so. Okay. So number 10 is, what was your favourite cartoon as a kid? Um, my favourite cartoon was an Australian cartoon, I think, and I'm not actually sure if he was international or not. Um, his name is Dexter's Laboratory, and he was all about like the science and science experiments, and he had an annoying sister who would always interrupt his experiments, and it was, it was quite fun. Um, yeah, every time he would go to do one of his experiments, his sister would interrupt him and annoy him. And yeah, <laughs> it was quite funny. Yeah. So number 11 asks, what's the first thing you would do if you won the lottery? First thing I would probably do, I would be in shock. Um, I'd be like, no way. Anyway, I digress. I would probably give it away to family, friends who would need it and I would give it away to charity and yeah, that's what I would do. So number 12 is, what's your favourite work of art? 
Now I'm not very familiar with like the names or the artists um, but I'm very kind of good at or good-ish at describing what the art looks like. Um, so <laughs> there is like a 3D uh, looking <laughs> artwork that is on the concrete of the city. Oh my gosh, it's very quite bad. Okay, let me try again. <laughs> so, if you're walking in the city, you will see ours all over the place, okay? And if you're looking down, there's. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. And here I am thinking I'm good at explaining. I, so you're looking on the walls, but on the floor there's art as well. But it's 3D looking and it looks like you're about to fall in the artwork, but it's you're not because it's art. But it's very 3D looking. But it's, it's like a black hole, but it's not a black hole. It's art and it's paint and it's, it's a, like an illusion, like you're going to fall down. And yeah. So I like those types of work of art. It's like an illusion, like you're going to fall down into a black hole. I don't know what you would call that type of work. I don't know who the artist is, but it's like an illusion, like you're going to fall down a black hole. Number 13 is another question. I don't know why I keep laughing at it. It's not that funny. <laughs> Number 13, do you have any tattoos or piercings? I do not have, I don't have either tattoos or piercings, I don't have any. Um, tattoos, I've always admired from afar. I like to hear why people get tattoos and they're, they're, every person has a story of why they have a tattoo. Every person has a story of why they have their, get their tattoos, yeah. The story behind of why I don't have any piercings, I've always, I wanted second guess of getting my ears pierced and then I've backed out. I've always thought, should I get them? And then backed out and like, yeah, I'll get them and then I backed out. So in the end, I've never got my ears pierced. Long story short, maybe one day, but not today. So there's my story. Um, yeah. Number 14, what is your favorite season and weather? My favorite season or weather? My favorite season or weather? Okay. My favorite season is summer. I love the um, very hot, humid, scorching weather. Um, yeah. The humidity, humi humidity of like um, hot, humid, scorching, and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's my time of weather and summer is my season. So number 15 is, what is your dream home? Now, <laughs> this is something you would think that I've given a lot of thought of, but and you would probably would be right, um, but it's, I go back and forth, yeah. So, um, probably my dream home would be somewhere in the middle of the woods, um, just smack bang in the middle of the woods, this is what I'm thinking of now, um, that's location wise, and uh, architecture wise, um, made out of brick and maybe a little bit of stone and like you know those big I don't know how to wear it yeah, brick and stone so brick the top half brick and then a little bit uh, at the bottom stone yeah okay so question 16 asks <laughs> what game or sport do you enjoy yeah <laughs> so I will be answering for both watching and playing. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like watching cricket, soccer, football, ice hockey, netball. Um, yeah, 
there's a whole variety of this bought on I will be watching it um, my most favorite is ice hockey and football um, yeah yeah, uh, sports that I like to play, um, I haven't played a team sport in, well, since school. Um, yeah, um, I do a lot more solo things now, like um, walking, yoga, zumba, um, yeah, walking, yoga, zumba, yeah, <laughs> uh, walking, yoga, zumba, and yeah. yeah. Number 17. Can you play a musical instrument or sing? <laughs> I cannot sing. I am basically tone deaf. Um, regarding playing a musical instrument, I have dazzled. Um, <laughs> I tried playing guitar, recorder, keyboard few times um, that was all in fun but I'm not good at that either um, <laughs> but yeah it's all in fun and but I'm not good at it uh, yeah so I don't have any musical talents so no I guess the answer would be no and I can't sing <laughs> number 18 is question is what is your best household hack I don't have any household hacks. Um, um, oh, I am sorry, but I don't have any household hacks. I do have a couple of funny answers, or one funny answer for the next question, and yeah, but this one I, I do apologize, but I don't have any household hacks. Okay, so. Question 19 is, what is something about you that is different from most people? Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to get dark outside. That's how long it's taken me to film this clip-it. And yeah, so I've tried to make this clip-it a little bit funny because I had a little bit of a funny story to tell you, but it's taken forever and I was jumping over my words. Anyway, I'll digress. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so long story short, um, I am not the best cook, I am not the best cooker, um, basic cook basically, um, I'm not the best at cooking the littlest things, I burn things, the only good thing that I'm good at doing is making a cup of coffee so I don't know if that makes me different from most people but I did have a funny story to tell but I kept on remembering my words and I was like ah so I would like to answer Amanda's question um, Amanda from discovering 40 before asking my own question and tagging someone else so Amanda's question was what is my favorite animal um, my favorite animal or animals are dogs. Um, I don't have a specific favorite breed, but I like, I love dogs. I love dogs in general. So number 20 is add your own question or comment and tag a friend. And I would like to tag Miriam Harvard. And I hope I said your name correctly. Um, I would like to give a comment. Um, I would like to wish you congratulations and encourage, words of encouragement. You are doing really well um, and I would like to wish you all the best on your fitness journey and yeah, all the best. So I would like to thank you for watching. Um, I would also like to let you know that I am leaving Amanda discovering for the discovering 40 channel and miriam's channel in the description bar below um yeah thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye